Well, hey friends, welcome back to Waterview Mountain. As you can see, yep, no, we're not at the mountain today. It looks like it. We got the wonderful trees. It's an absolutely gorgeous day here. Um, early November, about 68 degrees, sunny, beautiful day. Um, today, the task at hand, we're not gonna be doing any work today. We're just, uh, we're gonna be doing some more review. I think there's gonna be some shock and awe uh, how well this yard turned out. And then we're gonna walk over to the side of the house and uh, take a look at the uh, French drain and see what we finished up over there. Uh, we had to add another drain somewhere else. I wasn't planning on adding a drain. We'll talk about that. And uh, uh, and that's about it. Just a real quick video, just following up on some Suburbia Project stuff. So uh, sit back, relax, get yourself something to drink, and uh, let's get to busy. All right, well, first things first, since we're out here on the deck already doing our intro, let's take a look at the plywood where we came back and um, and replaced this board and batten, this faux board and batten at the, uh, the house here in suburbia. So as you can see, I mean, this is it right here. This is the board. This is the board we replaced right here. Um, and as you can see, it's starting to kind of weather a little bit up here and starting to starting to match in. And the same thing with these uh, battens in between, it's uh, it's starting to blend. So not quite there. It's only been, uh, what's it been, two months? So I think by the time spring comes around though, I think we're not even hardly gonna be able to notice the difference there. So uh, looking good, doing exactly what we thought it was gonna do. So uh, let's, let's walk up front and uh, and take a look at the grass where we started up by the driveway and see how that looks. All right, like I said, nice, super, super sunny day. Uh, absolutely beautiful. So let's take a look first. We'll take a look on this side over here. Maybe I need to stretch this out. I'm trying out this new stuff that I hadn't used before. All right, so I backed it up a little. Let's see how this works. I'm trying out this. We got a new GoPro. Thank you, Sean. She always hooking me up. So we're back up at the front of the driveway and you see here, this is the grass that we just, uh, I put some of that sandy loam stuff down. I did the seed and we didn't water it. And it's turning out real nice. Now, of course it's November, so it's starting to go dormant, uh, but it smoothed out real nice. Then back on this side over here, same thing all the way down. I don't know if you remember, but all of this, all the way down over here, we had that sandy loam stuff and leveled it out and it just i mean it grew back real nice so really the worst spot that i have is right in here uh, just some weeds that just don't want to go away uh, but we put the weed and feed out so hopefully um, over the winter those will die when everything else goes dormant and the sun's right in your eyes isn't it there you go now it's in my eyes um, and those weeds will go dormant and then hopefully in the spring we put a pre-emergent down already i'll put another pre-emergent down and hopefully we can um eliminate those over the uh over the winter so now let's uh let's walk back to the back of the yard and see where i had the uh the ruts from the uh from the truck and uh see what a what a huge difference this is, has made just a couple of months all right well i guess there's always going to be a shadow somewhere but as you can see and i'll i'll throw the picture in here of of what this was because right here is where these ruts were right here behind me coming up is where the ruts were after we got blue jeans stuck and and the trailer was sitting back there where where maggie's at now like i said we brought her back just to to do some stuff around here but this absolutely looks amazing so as you can see there's still a couple spots that i gotta fill in um but it's 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 gone i'm telling you it's it's evaporated um i'm, I'm gonna have to do like i said some more leveling but we expected that. I, I knew it wasn't gonna just be one try and it's done. Um, ignore all the yellow. I'm not sure if that's dog pee or if I got some kind of mold or worms or whatever. Uh, and then this spot over here, pretty much from about there to over here, all that was just bare dirt. Uh, and then again, I put that green, uh, that was that green uh, rolled out stuff that instead of hay, and it, it did a phenomenal job. Uh, and everybody says that 
the zoysia is the hardest grass to grow from a seed. I'm not a, I'm not a grass guy. I'm not a yard guy. Yeah, I do some yard work, but this isn't my thing. So uh, I'm pretty impressed with, uh, with how that turned out. Um, of course, any comments, any suggestions uh, for any of this stuff, you just, just leave it right down in the bottom. I'm, I'm good with that too. Uh, leave, leave me some comments and, and let me know if you think there's something else I should have done or uh, there, there was a, a better way to go about that. But that green stuff, cat's pajamas. All right, now let's walk over here and um, take a look at the French drain. All right, so here we are. As you see right here is our, our nine inch drain that we dropped in there. Um, and then as you can see, I, I put some more dirt down over here need more so uh, I'm gonna have to get some more of that sandy loam dirt and come back and I think what I'm gonna do in the spring is I'm just gonna go ahead and get uh, some more of that green stuff that, that we used over there because it's just absolutely phenomenal I can't I can't describe how, how well that stuff worked um, so we're gonna I'll get some more of that green stuff we'll get some more um, uh, seed I have some more seed actually and We'll get this thing filled in properly and get the uh, the grass growing back. And then let me flip this around. All right, now I just flipped it around. This might be easier. I don't know how good the audio is going to be because, like I said, I've never used this. But you see here, I got to fill that in a lot. And then we just we buried the whole thing all the way down to the back of the woods, and it just comes out down there. The, the new addition. So we had planned on doing a. A drain from this side closest to the house to get some of the runoff uh, from the roof I got a little bitty drain over there now I gotta pull that out I don't know I might have pulled that out but what we did is I moved that six inch drain over here so just the way the landscape works out is you get a heavy rain the neighbor's yard starts to flood uh, and it comes down and comes to visit us so I built up this little wall I got a little drain right there that comes down and connects into this drain. Um, nope, this one's got to be uncovered. So see, time for a little maintenance. Another little drain to catch that coming off the house. And then it all just runs out down here. And I got to dig this hole out apparently because that's all filled in with, uh, that's all filled in with leaves. So you see there's the end of the sock and it just runs out right there and then it runs down into the woods instead of in the yard. Uh, because the problem we had is this part of the yard here, this this was all just flooding and no grass or anything would grow here. So uh, so we had to get that squared away and it seems to be working pretty well. So uh, yeah, so there you go. Little catch up on all the projects. So yeah, so there you go friends. Um, you know, not the most exciting video we've done uh, and yeah, I'm wasting a little bit of time because it's hunting season, birthdays, we're coming up on Thanksgiving, Christmas, all that good stuff. And uh, it's just been a busy time and haven't had much time for projects or work on the mountain. Hopefully we can get up there this weekend and do some work. Uh, but like I said, because it's hunting season, I hate to get up there and banging and clanging and doing our thing and uh, not get that wall hanger this year. So we'll see. Um, but as always, we're blessed to be able to do this, to be able to share these things with you. I'm glad we could do a review. I hope you all enjoyed it. It's, it should be a short video, probably less than 10 minutes. But I'm telling you, that green stuff, absolutely amazing. And, and as you saw, the yard looks, I mean, it looks perfect. Aside from the parts that are going dormant or where the dogs are peeing, I don't know what's going on there. Um, but before that, the grass looked fantastic. Um, and then the same thing, this French drain out front is working phenomenal. Um, we, we've had a bunch of heavy rains and it just whisks it all away. So our little uh, foamy thing is, is pulling out that moisture right there in the front of the yard. And then that drain is able to handle whatever, whatever comes at it. So uh, it's, it's just been great. But, but absolute blessings all the way around. So thank you for hanging with us. Thank you for checking us out. If you're here, still here, Hit like, hit subscribe, hit the little bell icon, um, and, and leave us a comment. Let me know what you think. You like these videos, you don't like these videos, uh, whichever way, just uh, just let me know. You're not going to hurt my feelings. And then, of course, uh, look up here, check out this video. Uh, we'll, we'll post something. Uh, I don't know what it's going to be. Like I said, hopefully, we're getting to the mountain this weekend, 
and uh, we can throw up some new content that's uh, that's more along the lines of, of building or rebuilding or doing whatever. So, uh, yeah, so that's it. Until next time, y'all be safe.